Hi, I'm Matt Finnegan. Uh, I am a uh, senior consultant for a consulting and managed service firm here in Boston, uh, Boston over in Charlestown uh, in the Trap Building. It's iCore Technologies. Been there about six months. Before that, I worked for a uh, year as a Windows and VMware guy for a turbine game company out of Needham. I uh, worked three years for Iron Mountain yes. on yes. some host systems. Um, all right. Let's see. How do I? Oh, you want your slide? I would like my slide. That's crazy talk. <laughs> Mentoring and education. Uh, I am a member of LOPSA, um, and I am involved in the LOPSA mentoring program, which is fun, fairly informal. It's a mailing list, and people who need help, generally junior guys, in either a situation where they're the only IT guy, or maybe they're a junior IT guy in a very large organization and he feels like he gets no management, he or she, um, will bring a problem to the mentoring program and say, I want to work on a project, or I want to know more about this, and I want some coaching. And then they will send that out to everyone who's a mentor, and then those people will say, either say or not, hey, I can do that. Then you start an email conversation. I started this in November. I've got three running right now. It's really kind of cool. One's a guy up in Maine. One is uh, some kid in London. And one is a Greek guy in Germany who works for a company that Oracle bought out the week after we started. <laughs> um, it's fantastic. Um, my whole life, whole adult life, I have enjoyed doing mentoring type things, even when it was in a coffee shop teaching uh, new kids how to be a barista, you learn a lot more about your own craft or profession in teaching it to someone younger. You solidify weak things, you get good answers to naive or difficult questions. Um, it's fantastic. Uh, the LOPSA mentoring program needs mentors. Um, pretty much the only two things you need to do to be a LOPSA mentor is be a LOPSA member, not that much more. Um, and then just sign up and then be willing to coach junior people. You have to have a little bit of patience. Um, you're not there to be their tech support unless they're really bogged down. I have had a lot of rounds of, well, did you, did you look at Google? <laughs> look at Google and then come back to me with a better question and we'll work through that. Um, I've done a lot of working with these guys on projects, planning, and stuff like that. Starting to get into some soft skills and how to be a professional systems administrator, not just how to be the computer. Um, and uh, I asked uh, the coordinator of the program, he says they also need members of the ment mentoring core team. Um, the only hitch there is you can't be a mentor. Um, and I don't know what the needs are there, if it's just uh, trying to coordinate the volume of requests. The volume has gone up, they've been popularizing the program. So we do need more mentors. If anyone's a LOPSA member, uh, great, you could be it. If you're not, join up, and then you could try. Uh, try this on your size. Um, the really cool thing about being in the mentoring program is that at least the last year, which I didn't even get to go to attend, I won a ticket to go to Cascadia just the other month. Um, so another side benefit that I had no idea I was even eligible for. Um, and while I was there, I took two classes on uh, sysadmins in the business world. Very good stuff for soft skills, budgeting, forecasting, stuff like that. Um, and one of the ladies who gave those talks, Carolyn Rowland, did a lightning talk on education. Um, this is something that you were talking about, that there's been this talk at least for a long time um, about improving the quality of new hires, people new to the field, um, through formal and informal means, uh, college education programs, uh, companies actually doing like um, internships, formal mentoring, other sorts of things like that. Um, and that's the second set of links up there. Uh, they've got a Google group and a Google site. Um, it's not high volume. A lot of it is what can we do. Um, and as you said, uh, these aren't all answered questions, but nowadays there are schools that do more than have a computer science program that they throw a DBA or networking course into and call that IT or MIS. Um, and there's a lot of stuff up here. Uh, one of the things that... 
Thank you. So one